Here in Skullvik and Nefu we have a um, wide variety of abilities between students and differentiation is always something that a teacher is um, very interested in. With the software 4 to 12 maths I have found it extremely beneficial in meeting the children at their particular levels and in providing worksheets and activities that are beneficial to them. So here we have the interface that greets every child when they type in 4 to 12 maths. Um, it's extremely child friendly, login is extremely clear to see so each child clicks on login. So type in my secret word, I met with the dashboard. So this is it, it as you can see it's colourful, the children are interested, the idea of the faces, the idea of the awards, the trophies and in my particular one as an administrator I can monitor my students uh, in this I can monitor what their passwords are to make sure that it's not inappropriate and also I can monitor how my classes are improving. If we'll say uh, a child is particularly struggling at fractions it will show up on um, the scores they have recorded and I can perhaps say that this child needs a particular amount of help in that area. Uh, for the children themselves I suppose the three main areas that they use are problem solving down here, uh, my competitions and my practice. Um, for example the practice area is just a non-competitive area where the child just can practice themselves. As you can see each class level is, is laid out very clearly so for from junior infants at the top ranging to sixth class. So for example I teach first, second and third class. The first class would have to click on their class level and then all the different areas are down along if they click down. So from your measures to money down along towards shape and space, towards number and they can click on a particular part and they can practice that area. Also for a child then maybe that is having a bit of trouble if you have a first class student that is particularly well able maybe they could perhaps try some second class material to improve them or if you have a first class child that is having particular difficulties well they can just drop back to senior infants work a bit harder and then progress up along the line. So if they return to their dashboard then, the next thing the children like to use, and it's particularly in this school, I suppose they're maybe a bit competitive, they can use their competition. So they can come in, and it's, it's in a fun way, it's kind of based upon white belt, the black belt, like the karate. So a child can go into the different class levels from here, first to sixth, and ranging on what, how successful they are in particular competition. If they're successful in a few competitions, in addition, subtraction and difference, they might get their black belt. And it's very good for the child. It gives them confidence that, oh, I have a black belt in this. It means they're improving. And they work their way up the ladder. They know that they're progressing. And it's, they can go against their fellow classmates and also maybe children from other schools. So they like that element. And it's also constantly helping to, to, them to improve and putting their practice into, I suppose, a, a competitive situation. And then the last one as well is problem solving is something that's particularly difficult for children because sometimes what they're reading they're not particularly interested in but we found in this school that a lot of the children are interested in sports so you have maybe your first and second class problem solving level based upon rugby or soccer or Gaelic football so if you want to access that you come in and the rules are all here rugby is a team sport between two teams of 15 players each and so on so the child reads maybe improving on their literacy reads uh, some material about the rugby and then they can go into the questions after they have read it and it's Keen Healy scored two tries last week. How many points did he score? So they will have read that a try is worth five points and they'll have to problem solve to say, well, if he scored one try is five points, two tries would be 10 points. So they submit their answer, 10. And it goes, correct, great work. And as they're going along, a badge is created. So then at the end they have, oh, well, I have five badges and making particular progress. Um, and basically that's, that's it for the child. Um, like as a teacher, you, you, as you can see through the practice areas, there's so many different worksheets based upon all the different curricular areas. It's extremely helpful for me, especially in a multi-class situation because most of your time is spent teaching, whether you're, I have first, second and third, I teach my first and second and then it's my duty to go teach my third. It's nice to have this as a resource because I don't have to spend my time creating too many worksheets because the worksheets are here, it's in an extremely child-friendly manner. They all find it fun. If you tell them they're going on to 4 to 12 maths, it's yes, we get to create a positive mindset towards maths rather than the negativity that would have been historically there.